Alrighty guys, I am back. First and foremost, I would like to thank you to all of my subscribers who have been supporting my channel ever since and till now. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe by clicking the subscribe button below. And also don't forget to share and like. Here is the 2002 EX model gun parry. It's a 1 144 scale model kit. So this is the uh, side. There. And the other side. And the front. Alrighty, this is the assembled gun parry. Actually, out of the box, it will not look like this because you still have to paint some parts. The model kit came in two colors, green and yellow. I painted the cone, the nose cone, the housing, I painted red, and also the blades. I painted using a Molotov chrome and sealed it with the fledge floor wax, which is this one. Now on the red part, the housing, uh, the uh, blades, and also the intake right here, two intakes. I painted this with uh, Gundam marker. The housing, the front housing for the uh, main engine, and the uh, red piece right here, I painted that. The windscreen for the cockpit, it's actually transparent. So yeah, you can install LED on it. It also came with a sticker right there. So yeah, once you painted it, it will look awesome. It will look exactly as the anime one. So yeah, it's actually a static uh, model kit, but it's an awesome model kit. You can easily display this together with your one, 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 144 scale model kits. Especially if you are HGUC collector, you'll have this uh, gun parry. The canister can actually open by it's gonna a little bit yeah there you go there we go the gun parry came with six missiles this can be easily removed from the uh, housing because there's two pegs that's where you uh, insert the uh, missiles you can um, insert it on the other or you can install it on the other side like that or if you want to be like the uh, anime on the uh, Mobile Suit Gundam, you can use this extra piece. There we go. And uh, have your HGUC RX-72 inside the... Uh... So there's a peg right there and just the shoulder holder. It's actually made for your HGUC RX-78. So what you're gonna do is you just Put this there, and it will eat, it will just slide in without any problem. Since uh, the gun parry is made for the uh, HGUC model kits, there. Articulation of this gun parry is very limited, not like the uh, MSIA version where you can fold this front uh, turbine, hold forward, and you can separate the canister 
so that it'll uh, look like a wing or it will mimic what the uh, 08 MS team Grand Perry did when they were trying to retrieve the Aspalos mobile armor yeah but or like on the anime where the uh, get the white base gun parry is uh, launching the module B and module A of the uh, RX-78 Gundam this part opens up but on this model kit it does have that feature only the opening doors and that's about it and this wing right here it doesn't have a hinge it's actually fixed if you're gonna move it vertically you have to remove this two piece right here which is the one that holds the wings and you can just uh, reposition it which is uh, only a bit the downside of it there we go there you're gonna move this like that there and then insert it so there we go it doesn't have a movable hinge unlike the 1400 scale Gundam collection gun parry which is this one it has a functional door come on there we go it has a functional door and this uh, turbine housing and the wing turbine is functional what I mean functional is you can uh, place it vertical you can place it on vertical position or horizontal position also the MSIA version which is this one it's a little bit smaller com compared to the uh, 144 scale in this one you can just there we go there this is what I'm talking about so it's actually got the same feature there you got the RX 778 here and also you can uh, put the missiles in it only came with three missiles see it's almost the same size the missile for the MSIA and the uh, EX-144 scale is almost the same size even though 1-144 scale uh, EX gun parry is a little bit bigger in scale. MSIA is quite smaller. So about an inch and a half smaller than the uh, HGUC. This uh, EX gun parry, it's more on a static display piece than a uh, playable model kit but yeah this is an awesome display uh, piece together with your uh, HGUC kits especially with the, if you have the one year war collection yeah this gun parry is one of kind the panel liner that I use I didn't use the I didn't use this uh, Tamiya panel accent color what I used is the Molotov panel liner which is this Molotov panel liner and I use the uh, 0 0.05 millimeter tip which is the smallest that you can get in the market there this is perfect for HGUC or 1144 scale model kit or if you want to use it on master grade and perfect grade you can do so also because the line itself the line that it creates it's so small so yeah this is an awesome panel liner and also it doesn't dry that quick since it's a water base it takes time like about 30 minutes to dry up so you still have time to work around with it if you if you had if you made a excess line you can easily uh, erase it so yeah back to the model kit on the turbines I use again Molotov chrome because this is all green actually all the piece it's totally green so yeah, it wouldn't look good if you just assemble it without painting it I was planning to paint this black but I think I like the yellow interior so that's why I just panel lined it and didn't bother painting it also heads up 
if you have this kit and plan to assemble it and if you if, if you're planning to paint the kit especially the inside part of the box if you're trying to paint it gray like on the uh, box art I recommend painting it before attaching it to the gun parry itself because once you attach this box to the gun parry it's gonna be hard to remove it you'll end up breaking the peg the locking the locking mechanism inside the gun parry something to keep in mind but yeah I think that's it so again this is the gun parry right there yeah put this side gun parry 1144 scale this is the 1400 scale gun parry gundam collection line and this is the msia gun parry 1162 i think or 6 6 1, 1, 6, scale or 1172 scale for the msia what i noticed is the uh the head part of the gun parry i think uh, bandai or sunrise kept it from the boeing 747 i mean it's 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 just like the Boeing 747. If you remove this intake right here in the wing, it just it it's it's just like the 747, the head part. That's the uh, so I think that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this review of the EX model gun parry 1144 scale together with the HGUC as an extra. Oh, before I forget, the model kit doesn't come with the uh, RX78 uh, HGUC kit, okay? You have to buy it separately. So that's it. If you guys have any question, leave a comment or send me an email. If you guys haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And don't forget to like and share my videos. Alright guys, thank you. Bye.